Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I use the black box for launching backing tracks live. Um, I think it's the most compact way of doing this that I've found so far. And uh, I prefer not having a laptop on stage if avoidable. And uh, this just sits on top of my stage piano and is very unobtrusive for launching backing tracks. So to begin with, this is the, uh, the preset or project I've made for the song. I tend to have one preset per song. But there is other ways you could do that, but this is how I like to do it. So we go into our pads for the song. We can see I've loaded in two, two files already. So let's go on to this one. So this uh, is the main stereo backing track. So this has got, it's got some backing vocals, some guitars, some synthesizers. And what's good about this is that I can route it to different outputs. So I've got the main backing track going to output one. And then for this project, we don't have a bass player live. So I've actually separated the bass from the main backing track. And for this purpose, I've got the bass going to output two. What's really good about this is that you can send the main stereo backing track to front of house, but you can send the bass uh, somewhere separate if you want. So for example, you could send it to a bass amp on stage you could also duplicate the bass track, send one to the bass amp on stage and one to front of house because we have so many outputs, which is what's really useful about this. And so then because we're using backing track, we're going to need a click track to send to the drummer so that they can keep in time. And for this purpose, I'm going to use output three uh, and I'm going to use output three as the headphone mix for the for the drummer so I can send them uh, a mix of stuff so they can stay in time and then if I was to for example here load in a duplicate of the main stereo backing track but to route it to output three then the drummer in their headphone mix they are then getting the stereo backing track and the click and and we can change the volumes for the individual here, uh, which is a really, really useful feature. And because we have so many pads and the black box has up to six outputs, in theory, you could run stereo track, mono bass, and then have three different headphone mixes, uh, which I think is pretty amazing, really. And uh, so one other word about the files here. So I bounced them out as WAVs from the DAW. And of course, because we're going to be launching them all at the same time, the files need to be exactly the same length so that everything lines up together. So if you set your start and stop point on the on the DAW as the same for each of them, then they should all line up nicely. And to make them all play together in sequences, I've just made a really simple sequence on the pads, uh, just placed uh, one trigger on uh, number one of the sequence on all the pads. So every, all the pads here will launch at the same time. And so that is everything set up. And then we press play, we should see, yeah, everything has started at the same time. And there's multiple ways that you could do this on the black box. If you're, if you're building your songs in the black box, maybe you'd be syncing them to the click inside the actual device. Maybe you could build different song sections, but for my purposes, this is really great because the songs that we're using have been produced in a DAW and I just want to be able to launch them live. And this is really, really great. And in the sequence, you're going to have to go in, into information and I just change the sequence to the maximum length so that it doesn't cut off anything early. So I just put it to 256 steps and eight bar step length, but so that's going to not cut off anything. And then when you're done with the track, just press stop, go into your preset and then wherever the next track is, maybe this one. And then I've already got the sequence loaded in, press play and that's all good to go. So yeah, uh, that's how I use the black box for backing track. I think it's a really good solution and uh, yeah, I recommend checking it out. Thanks very much, guys. Have a good day.